Hello everybody and welcome back to Food Review Club. My name is Dan, aka One Minute Beer Review, over on TikTok and Instagram. And I'm going to have another beer with you guys. Now, I've decided to crack open some craft. We're going for a, for a session IPA. This is Beavertown Neck Oil 4.3% session IPA. Now, there's quite a bit to unpack here. Look at that can. That is probably some of the best can artwork I've ever clapped eyes on. I think it's absolutely wild and wacky and out there. It really, really, really is. Now, I've been drinking this stuff for years. Um, I think I had my first can of this back in 2015, maybe, about seven, six, seven years ago. And it got to the point where me and, me and the wife loved how much of cans look like that, that I actually saved them and they were dotted around my kitchen. We're weird like that, I digress. What's a session IPA? Basically, a session IPA is an IPA, an India Pale Ale, that is brewed to sessionable strength. You can stick to that all day, 4.3%. Yeah, okay, you'll get a bit hammered, but you know you can keep going. It's not one of them that you're gonna be going on after three or four beers and getting yourself a kebab, you know? It's one of these that you can absolutely go for. So Beaver Town, who are they? They're a brewery based in North London. Um, and until very recently, I say very recent, about last four years or so, they were craft. So craft beer basically means you've got to have um, less than 25% ownership from a conglomerate, basically. You've got to own basically most of it. And Heineken, Heineken got involved and they wouldn't tell us how much Heineken had purchased, which meant we defaulted that to 49.9%. Therefore, you're no longer craft, really. Heineken want the money back. So this did die a bit of a death. Um, Flavour wise. To get the money back though, they decided to uh, basically put it out there. Heineken, their massive marketing budget, they, they went to all the bars and all the restaurants and gave out bar runners and towels and then really funky tap um, ornaments, you know, stuff like that. And you see, you see Beaver Town beers everywhere now. For example, a pint of this it, near me costs six to six pounds fifty. That's a lot of money for a 4.3% beer. And until very recently, um, very recent, sorry, they sold out 100%. A lot of craft beer purists were a bit, you know, kicking off about it. But I'd say if it was me, I don't mind reading them comments sat on a yacht somewhere, trust me. So anyway, India Pale Ale, um, I will explain what an IPA is in another episode, uh, I think, because I've been waffling off for far too long. Um, but still, very fruity, sort of tropical sort of fruit flavour um, throughout from the hoppiness, from the hops in it. This does actually smell quite pleasant, almost like... It's like guava and passion fruit. On the tongue, it builds up sweet, ends bitter. So it's quite well balanced. However, it's a bit too fizzy for me to be an IPA, which brings me into what I actually do think neck oil is. Neck oil is uh, lager for pale ale drinkers, or pale ale for lager drinkers, whichever way you want to look at it. It's too fizzy for the, for the uh, it's fizzy enough for a lager drinker. It's more ale-like for the ale drinker, basically, for the craft beer drinker. It ticks a lot of boxes. I can see why it is very popular. I see a lot of wasted potential, personally. I think it was a lot better. And now it's just about making money. Um, my opinion, let me know what you think. Please do. Keep it clean as well in the comments, because I know it might divide a bit of opinion, this. But I'm a big boy, I'm ready for it. I took a lot of flack on it on Instagram and on TikTok for it. But let me know what you think, keep it clean, let's engage well. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.